Today, we are diving into Class 10 English Unit 7, Reading 2. Cybersecurity. Topic, Basic Internet Safety Tips. We are going to solve all the exercises together, step by step. So, let's begin. A. Match the words given below with their meanings. A. Possession V. Something that you own or have with you, belongingness. B. Intertwined 8. Closely connected with somebody or something. C. Integration 7. The act of combining two or more things together. D. Avoid I. To prevent something bad from happening. E. Sensitive 2. Quick to detect or respond to slight changes or signals. F. Proliferated 9. Increased rapidly in number or amount. G. Shielding 4. Protecting something from danger or harm. H. Promptly X, without any delay. 1. Authentication 6. The act of proving that something is real or true. J. Transaction 3. An act of buying or selling, deal. B. State whether the following statements are true or false. A. It is a good idea to use the same password in different accounts for safety purpose. False. B. The teenagers are more vulnerable than any other age groups regarding the internet safety. False. C. It is not safe to let the computer remember our passwords. True. D. A cheap debit card is safer than the expensive one. False. E. It is not safe to enable auto-update of software in our devices. False. F. We should never enter our financial details on websites. True. C. Read the following paragraph headings and write the correct paragraph name, A-H, against them. A. Keep your personal data safe B. B. Keep personal information private G. C. Set up two-factor authentication F. D. Make sure your devices are secure C. E. Be careful about Wi-Fi E. F. Pay attention to software updates D. G. Back up your personal data H. H. Protect your personal information with strong passwords A. D. Answer these questions. A. How do we try to protect our physical property? To protect our physical property, we use measures such as locking doors, using locks, and keeping valuable possessions in safes. B. What should we do to keep our password secret? To keep our password secret, we should follow these measures. Create strong passwords using a combination of letters, numbers, and special characters. Use different passwords for different accounts. Keep passwords private and avoid sharing them with others. Store passwords securely, such as in an encrypted file on a computer. C. Mention any two safety measures for shopping with debit cards. Safety measures for shopping with debit cards. Use chip debit cards, as they offer more security compared to traditional magnetic strip debit cards. Read the terms and conditions before entering financial information on any website to ensure it is secure. D. How can we secure our accounts even when someone finds our password? We can secure our accounts even when someone finds our password by enabling two-factor authentication. This adds an extra layer of security, requiring a second verification step, such as a code sent to a mobile device, to access the account. E. Why do you think we should make online friends only to familiar people? We should make online friends only with familiar people to ensure our safety and security. Connecting with strangers online can be risky, and it is essential to be cautious while communicating with people we have recently met online. G. What can we do to keep our online data safe? To keep our online data safe, we can take the following measures. Utilize passwords, fingerprint readers, or face scanning technology for security. Secure all devices, including computers, phones, tablets, smartwatches, and smart TVs. Avoid connecting to unsecured public Wi-Fi networks and only surf through secure websites. Enable two-factor authentication for added security. Be cautious about revealing personal details and be mindful of who we accept as friends on social media. E. Have you ever lost your personal data and information while using the internet? Share your experiences in the class. Yes, 
I have lost my personal data and information while using the internet. One time, I was using a public Wi-Fi network and I didn't realize that it was unsecured. I logged into my bank account and my email account while I was connected to that network. A few days later, I started getting emails from my bank about unauthorized transactions. I realized that my account had been hacked and my personal information had been stolen. I had to change my passwords and I had to file a report with my bank. Grammar 2. A. Complete the sentences below with articles or or an. A. Doctor, what is your problem? Patient, I have a fever and I feel dizzy. B. Would you like to be an actor in the future? C. What a lovely garden you have. D. We spent half an hour in complete silence. E. Please keep an eye on our house while we are away. F. Mr. Nappet has brought in you in his farm. G. Ms. Sharma's opinion was criticized as having a one-dimensional perspective. H. We had to catch an early bus to be here on time. B. Fill in the gaps in the sentences below with A, an, or the. A. Could you open the window, please? B. Did you read the book I gave you last week? C. All the desks were full. So we had to sit on the floor. D. Can you play the flute well? E. You have a lovely house. I am particularly impressed by the living room. F. The president is elected every five years in Nepal. G. Do you think that the tourist is from Japan? No, she looks like a European. H. This is the biggest fish I have ever caught in my life. 1. Bartmany is known to be a man of action. C. Fill in the blanks with the correct articles. If no article is used, put a cross, X. A. Mrs. Portal went to the school to meet her son's teacher. B. What time did you get X home yesterday? C. The Netherlands consists of 12 provinces. D. X Mount Everest is the pride of our country. E. The Nile is the longest river in Africa. F. X New Road is a financial hub in Kathmandu. G. X Arohan Gurukul Theatre was founded in 1982. H. What did you have for X breakfast this morning? 1. The Braille system was developed to help the blind for reading and writing. J. Do you always play X badminton at school? Writing 2. Write a newspaper article on internet and cybersecurity. Use the following guidelines in your article. Introduction to the internet and technology. Use of the internet in our daily lives. The abuses of the internet. Need and ways of data privacy. Conclusion. Internet and cybersecurity, safeguarding the digital realm. By Yaman Sherpa. August 4, 2023. In the modern era, the internet has become an integral part of our lives, transforming the way we connect, learn, and conduct business. Its role in enabling global communication, facilitating online transactions, and providing information at our fingertips cannot be overstated. Yet, this convenience comes with a downside, the looming threat of cybersecurity breaches. The digital revolution in our daily lives. Our daily routines are intertwined with the internet. It enables quick access to information and bridges distances effortlessly. From online banking to social media interactions, its impact is pervasive. However, this increased connectivity exposes us to cyber threats that exploit vulnerabilities and compromise our online security. Navigating the shadows, abuses of the internet. As we enjoy the benefits of the internet, cyber crimes cast a shadow. Cyber criminals exploit weak points to steal identities, conduct phishing scams, and execute ransomware attacks. Simultaneously, the spread of misinformation challenges the authenticity of online content. Addressing these abuses requires a holistic approach to internet security. Safeguarding data privacy, a growing imperative. Personal data protection is paramount. Safeguarding financial information and personal details from unauthorized access is critical. This demands proactive measures such as strong passwords, two-factor authentication, and heightened awareness of phishing attempts. Empowering individuals with these tools can fortify data privacy. The road ahead, nurturing a secure digital ecosystem. 
the responsibility of securing the digital realm rests with individuals, corporations, and governments. Integrating cybersecurity education into curricula prepares the youth for the digital landscape. Corporations need to invest in robust cybersecurity measures to protect customer data. Governments must establish and enforce regulations to deter cybercrime. Conclusion, Balancing Convenience and Security The Internet has transformed our lives, offering unparalleled convenience and opportunities. However, we must tread carefully, aware of the risks it presents. Fostering a culture of cybersecurity is essential to harness its benefits while minimizing vulnerabilities. With collective effort, we can ensure a secure digital future for all. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson and want more videos like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Until next time. Stay curious and keep learning.